Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, how are you feeling today? I hope you are all in good health. In this session, you will be with me. I am Nur from Sekolah Kebangsaan Convent 2 Bukit Nanas, Kuala Lumpur. Today, we will learn two of the science process skills. Learning about science process skills, boys and girls, will enable you to find solutions and make decisions systematically. With me today is Puan Cathy Lee from SK Pendidikan Khas Jalan Pil, who is our sign language interpreter. Are you ready with your notebook and stationery? Let's get started! Boys and girls, today you will learn how to make inference and predict. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to 1. Give reasonable explanations for an observation. 2. State an expectation of an event that will happen. Are you ready? Do you have any idea what making an inference means? Making an inference is a skill to reasonably explain an initial conclusion of an observation. Inferences can be made by using data collection and previous experience to conclude and explain events. Let's look at the steps to make an inference. To make an inference, first, you need to make an observation. Next, this is followed by a reasonable explanation of the observation. Lastly, you will have an initial conclusion which is your inference. Let's take a look at an example. Look at the pictures. Can you read the dialogues? Now, let's carry out step 1. You need to observe a situation or an event. Step 2. You need to give a reason based on the situation or event. So, the observation that you can make from the dialogue is The plant looks green and fresh While the reasonable explanation is Maybe the plant is watered every day The inference based on the observation is that the plant is watered every day Okay pupils Let's try to make an inference with the second example. What can be observed from this picture? Yes, the boy is crying while holding his cheek. He may be suffering from a toothache. Now, can you make inferences based on the observation? I will give you one minute to write down your inferences. There are two inferences which can be made based on the observation. First, the boy has a toothache because of tooth decay. If we don't remove food that is stuck between the teeth, germs will multiply and cause the teeth to decay. So, brush your teeth at least twice a day. Second, the boy has a toothache after eating an ice cream because he has tooth decay and sensitive teeth. Sensitive teeth occur when the enamel erodes resulting in exposure of the dentin layer. When the exposed layer of dentin comes into contact with something cold like ice cream, it causes the sensitive tooth to ache. Excellent, boys and girls. You did very well for the first skill. Are you excited to learn the second skill? Let's continue with the lesson, shall we? 
boys and girls. What is predicting? Do you have any idea? Let's take a look. Predicting is a skill to state an expectation of an event that will happen. It is not the same as guessing because it must be based on observations, previous experiences, data, or patterns. Let's take a look at this picture. Do you know how meteorologists predict the changes of weather? They use data that has been collected over a period of time to predict the changes of weather. Let's look at the first example of predicting. Aha! I'm sure most of you know this story, right? The Thirsty Crow In picture A, we can see that the crow has failed to drink the water from the jar. It is because its beak is short and the water level is too low. The crow looks around him and then he suddenly gets an idea. He begins to collect pebbles and drops them one by one into the jar. Can you predict the water level in the jar after the crow has dropped the pebbles into the jar? Yes, you are right. The water level increases and the crow is able to drink the water from the jar. You have made the prediction based on your previous experience by listening to or watching the story on television. Next, let's try to predict based on data. Let's look at data that is recorded to investigate the growth of a plant. Can you predict the height of the plant on day 7? To make a prediction, you need to identify the pattern in the numbers. Here, you can see that the pattern of day increases by 2. And the pattern of height of plant increases by 1. So now, we need to do a simple calculation to predict the height of the plant for day 7. Let's do it together. 5 cm plus 1 cm equal to 6 cm. The height of the plant on day 7 is predicted to be 6 cm. Boys and girls, next I have prepared a hands-on activity that will help you to understand both skills better. In front of me, I have a tank filled with water, a piece of sponge, and a bar of soap. Next, I will put this piece of sponge and the bar of soap into this water-filled tank. What can you observe? I want you to record your observations in your notebook. Now, can you write the inferences based on your observations? Let's check your answer. There are two observations that can be made based on the activity. One, the sponge floats on the surface of the water. Two, the bar of soap sinks to the bottom of the tank. Next, here are the inferences made based on the observation. One, the sponge is less dense than water. And two, the bar of soap is more dense than water. Next, I will tie the sponge and the bar of soap together.
like this and place them into the tank. Can you predict what will happen to them? Yes, excellent! The sponge and the bar of soap float on the surface of the water when they are tied together. How are you doing so far, boys and girls? Stay with me for the next part of our lesson, okay? Now, let's try to do the following exercises. Write your answers in your notebook. Question 1. Make inferences based on the dialogue. The leaves are yellow and the plant is wilted because... Let's check your answers. 1. It didn't get enough water. 2. It didn't get enough nutrients. 3. It was attacked by insects. Question 2. Read the science room rules. Why must we adhere to science room rules? Yes, the importance of adhering to science room rules is to avoid accidents and injuries from happening while doing investigations in the science room. The last question for today, question 3. Based on the investigation, you need to answer all questions and write your answers in your notebook. Do it as your homework. You may discuss the answers with your science teacher at school, okay? Congratulations to those who have successfully answered question 1 and question 2 correctly. Our lesson has come to an end. I really hope that today's lesson can help you to understand and apply the skills of making inferences and predicting in your daily life. Thank you for joining me here today. See you again in the next class. Assalamualaikum and bye!